The next printer I'm cleaning up in my March Mad Mess is the TiVo Tornado, TiVo's answer to the CR10. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure I gave this printer a fair shake. I, you know what, I'll just tell you what happened when I tried using this printer and let you decide whether I was fair or not about it. So, when I got the TiVo Tornado, it was right in the middle of TiVo Gate. And for those of you who aren't aware of it, TiVo sent a, a generous assist to another YouTuber to help him pay for the uh, international shipping and customs to get the printer that they wanted him to review. It was considerably more than they needed to send, and that more than a little bit offended the YouTuber in question. Now, who's right, who's wrong, business versus whatever, I, I'm not really interested in discussing. But the point is, there was a lot of drama. So when I opened up this printer, I thought, you know, I'm still, I'm gonna give it a fair shake, but I don't know if I want this printer. I had a CR10. I like the CR10s because they work right out of the box. This printer would have to impress the heck out of me if I was going to use it regularly. Immediately upon opening it, I was greeted with more than I bargained for. That is to say, while the instructions, the page of instructions that they gave said, all you got to do is put up this Z-axis and you're done, I also had to put the build plate on because it wasn't on there and I had to remove a print that was on the build plate. Why was there a print, a half finished print on the build plate? I don't know, but before I could print anything, I had to remove their print from the build plate. That's just weird. But nevertheless, I'm no fool. I was able to put this thing together and get it all ready. I fired it up and I'm honestly a little bit frustrated at the machine right now. I feel like, like they've already asked me to do more than they intended. Now, maybe I'm a little bit biased because as a reviewer, I'm used to people trying to go out of their way to make sure I get a good experience. And these guys aren't doing that. But I thought, you know what? Yeah, it's kind of refreshing to be treated just like everybody else. And if this is how they treat all of their customers, that's not great, but hey, at least it's honest. So fair enough. Then I fired it up and tried to level it. And I'm already having a trouble with the leveling system that they've got on here because I, I don't know, the, the screws that are in here, they go up through the top, but I guess we're supposed to turn the ones below to, to level it. So, okay, fine, I'll, I'll do it that way. And I start the leveling process, and that's when I notice this. The build plate wiggles up to a centimeter up and down of its original location, and it seems like none of those locations, like the, the level, the place where it's supposed to be in the middle is just kind of where it's sitting at the time. If the nozzle comes down and touches it too much, the, the, the build plate, gives. And that's not a good thing in my mind, that this y-axis is just a couple of wheels sitting on a single, well, a double wide, but still a single extrusion of aluminum. It's essentially walking a tight wire the whole time. So I don't even go through the leveling process. I immediately hit up the forums and try to see what other people have done about this and, and to see how they feel about this. And the answers that I get back is, oh yeah, no, you definitely have to print a replacement Y carriage for this thing to make it more stable. Yeah, that's, that's just, everybody knows that. Oh, and hey, while you're at it, you're also going to have to make some upgrades to the extruder. Oh, and while you're at it, oh, and while you're at it, and I'm going, whoa, when do I actually get to print with this printer? They, they made a printer that is admittedly a lot more friendly to hackers than the CR10. The CR10, like I said, its electronics are mostly maxed out. You could not add much function functionality to the CR10. And the TiVo allows you to add all sorts of functionality. In fact, they require it before you use it. So whereas the CR10 is a printer that works without any modifications, 
the TiVo is a printer that won't work without modifications. That to me is hidden cost. That to me is a manufacturer not being honest with, with their audience, not being honest with their customers. They say that they're selling you a 3D printer. What they're selling you is a 3D printer project. And I didn't want a project at the time. So I took the TiVo Tornado, I threw it in the corner. I was gonna rebox it up, but unfortunately in the time that it took me to get around to actually doing this review and, and giving myself a reason to do this review with March Madness, uh, mice inhabited that box and turned it into a nice smelly home. So I don't have that box anymore. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Now I have had people at the makerspace say, hey, I've got a TiVo and yeah, I had to do a bunch of upgrades on it and I'd love to do some upgrades and, and, and we'll help you with this one. So maybe I'll bring this to the makerspace and let somebody else do the upgrading of it. And maybe once it's fully upgraded and running and working fine, then I don't know. I don't know if I'll use it or if I'll donate it to somebody else. But right now, that's my stance with the TiVo Tornado, a 3D printer that is considerably more hacker friendly, so friendly in fact, that it won't let you get away without hacking it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know if I recommend it. I'm sure there are people, I know there are lots of people to whom that prospect is desirable because there are a lot of people who, who want to be able to fiddle and, and tinker and make that 3D printer better. And if so, hey, TiVo is for you, but it's not for me. So there you go, there's the TiVo Tornado. As always, I wanna thank you very much for watching. I want to thank you for staying tuned with me through March Madness as I get my workspace cleaned up. I've just got a couple more printers and a few more projects to go. And then we can get back to doing all those other things that we do on this channel that I have missed so much and I hope you're looking forward to. If you feel I wasn't fair, if you feel that I need to give this printer a second shot and, and uh, keep going with it, you let me know. But if you agree with me also, let me know. I, I, I really, I wanna know your opinion about this printer and I wanna thank you very much for watching. Again, thank, big thanks to my Patreon backers and as always, safety first. See you next time. Do you want to know more about 3D printing, but don't know where to start? Or did you buy a 3D printer, but you need some help getting it going? Don't panic. The beginner's guide to the 3D printing galaxy is here, now, for you. Buy it on Amazon.